Did you text your mother and your father about this incident? Objection, hearsay. If you want to... Uh, did you, what if any communication did you have with your mother or your father following this incident? Objection, hearsay. Sustain that objection. Um, Damn. Let's go to, let's go to defendants 222 and. Damn, she's getting shut I down. We're going to be back up. All right, you want to keep on approach? That's fine. Yep. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Time out, time out. Oh, oh, time out, time out, time out. Oh. Do you think they'll make a movie out of this? I, I, I feel like it, it already is. I mean, you've already got a lot of actors involved anyway. I mean, yeah, it already is, guys. We're watching it. This is like a whole, it's like a show. It's a Netflix series. All right, here we go. What, if any, uh, communications did you have with Kate James following the Boston plane incident? Objection, um, hearsay. Your Honor, I, I, if we go to 224. Um, okay, 224. My argument would be business records exception. All right, you want to come forward? You can do it. <laughs> Bro, they're not able to do anything, man. I feel like it's honestly, it's like she's, it's, it's like a rogue. She's just getting, oh, 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 stun, blind, uh, disorient, interrupt, dismantle, fuck it, oh, blind again, preparation, vanish, cheap shot, kidney shot, fucking, oh, blind again, gouge, disarm, interrupt. Like, it's just, oh my God. What, if anything, did you do the evening of the 24th of May? Okay. I don't know. I reached out to friends and family, asked for support. Objection, hearsay. Sustained. And surrounded myself with them, with that. What, if anything, did you do for Lily Rose's birthday? I, um, <clears throat> that's why we had gone, gone back to L.A. Johnny was sick um, after having passed out on the plane. So I took her to dinner. Um, we went to Benihana's. Um, uh, it was, you know, again, put on my smile. Took her out, tried to make her feel loved, and celebrated for her birthday. And uh, then I booked a flight out to New York to go back to New York. Um, turned around to the the jury when she said, uh, "Make her I'm feel loved." Ask you to now turn to two twenty. Did you see that? Did you see that? Ain't that something? Wow. And you're I'm going to be. Referring to the last two That's blue crazy. spots on that page um, with the state of mind. Um, mental condition. All right. It, it doesn't, it's still hearsay, Your Honor. May we approach? Yeah, you Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. All right. They're just shutting her down. Yeah. She can't say anything. She can't do anything. She's just, she's just getting fucked. She's drinking lean. Yeah, obviously uh, it, it's not enough question. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious. This is hard acting. Uh, I, I added you. All right. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Um, where the fuck is this? Uh, watching Amber Heard felt like some of the lines felt strangely familiar. What the fuck is this? Um, there's like, this got 7,000 likes. What was your, you guys are great. Film, uh, choreographer, uh, she is so acting. Use some lines and films. Cannot be brought up. I believe the drink lots of tea is mimicking how Julia Roberts set up to Hugh Grant in the movie Notting Hill. The last part is right out of Reservoir Dogs, the fake story of the undercover cop tells. At one point, Amber Heard said Johnny slapped her and then rather cut off his hand. That's lined directly from... I'm going to ask you to turn now to oh my God. We'll get back to that. Jesus. I thought it was just like one... Like, I thought one circumstance, like people always say, you know, like people like- I, Your Honor, we're going to object on hearsay. 
first first line, Your Honor. No way. Is all I'm. No I'm way. I understand in Your Honor's ruling, but I think. No way. She's oh oh she's getting mad. All right. You gotta come forward. That's fine. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, um, where is it again? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, fucking, uh, yeah, it's this one here. And, and so yeah. W anyway, um. An entire beginning monologue is the plot of Talented Mr. Ripley. Yep, yeah, we saw that one before. And we saw that one. Do you know how much it takes to break a human's hands? That was on a Netflix show, I Am a Killer. Where a woman was on a life sentence for suffocating her man to death, her ex broke her hands in the same way. The episode was called In Her Hands. White chicks when the dog flies out the window and is hanging on by its lead. I don't know what that means. Uh, let, let's see here. Oh, white. Oh, oh, the movie. The fucking movie. The leash. Oh, there's no way. Like, the movie. I thought he was just saying, that, like, white girls did that. I was like, damn, man, that's a lot, ain't it? I was like, that's a guy's a bit of a racist, ain't he? Okay, let's see here. Took the only job. So you insist you have a place to eat. Uh, aren't pies good enough? Um,. I'd rather cut off my hand. I would have never taken a job if I had wanted us to keep us all together. Oh my God. I have a theory about the poop in the bed idea came from the scene in Alpha Dog, which she was in for like five minutes. One of the characters takes a drug fueled shit on the enemy's rug as revenge. Oh my God. It's wait, it, but wait, there's more. Well, the part about Johnny Depp first throwing a glass in her direction, then punching a wall, then punching the wall right next to her. Is that's from the TV show? So. Oh my God. Oh my tell God. Us, uh, what to please tell the jury what you did then over that night, the next day, and 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 at the hotel. Life imitates art. Yeah, I know. I cried uh, a lot. Tried Appreciate to stand myself with my friends to a movie? and resolve to five sentences of dialogue. Leave him. Even that's a lot. I felt I felt powerless. Nothing I did made a difference. You know, on the plane, I was so careful. Objection. Non responsive. Please just tell us what you did, and, and you can tell how you feel. Are they trying to make Amber mad? Okay. Like, if she mauls out I, at the, um, in the courtroom, that would be fucking crazy. Tried to... It, it, dude, bro, if she hits her in rage timer... To commit to leaving him, I knew I had to. Imagine taking that soap and just fucking throwing it at somebody. So I got myself back to L.A. I mean, um, excuse me, New York. And um, started going to... Alan on meetings every day to support it's a support group for people who love addicts and alcoholics so why didn't you say that yesterday when they used that term 10 times did you have with Stephen Duders objection hearsay your honor I'd, what if, let me ask it this way what if any communications did you have with Mr. Duders communicating on behalf of Mr. Depp objection hearsay I would say agency on that uh -huh. your honor you have to lay a foundation for that okay. All right, Ooh. let's go to 229A. Bro, she can't even talk. She cannot even talk. Oh, my God. And stun lock after stun lock. You, yeah. Without saying what the content is, can you tell us who this text message is with? Uh, Johnny's assistant. What's his name? His name is Steven Duders. Okay. And what, if any, communication were you having with him following the Boston plane incident? Objection hearsay. May we approach? All right. Yes, oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. Literally fucking vanilla wow CC chain. This is like whenever you get polymorph for like uh, 30 seconds or something. But like, this is a lot, man. Don't you feel like it's a lot? It's not just like one circumstance. It's like five or six. Correlation doesn't it doesn't mean causation. Yeah, but like, 
that's a lot of correlation. Like, there's nothing like, uh, the, here's the reality. It's like, you can't really c create causation in the human mind. It, it's all, it, it's all to some degree speculation. Because we don't really know what happened. We're never really going to know what happened. You understand that, right? Like, we're never really going to know. Did you communicate at all with Mr. Depp? In the days, it's just about how, how confident you are. Plane incident. Based off of what the evidence yes, is. Yes, I did. Please tell the jury about those communications. Okay, here we go. I heard from him um, directly. I also heard from him through his assistants who were texting for him. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. You, you're not allowed to testify about the text messages with his assistant, but can oh you tell my the God. jury about your communications with Mr. Depp? Okay. It's kind of confusing because he's texting through them. Objection, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. I'll strike that from the record. And you'll just regard that testimony. Please answer the question. J just confine it to the communications you had with Mr. Depp, please. Uh, he, that he was sorry and uh, told me that he was in a blackout. He didn't remember everything, but what he did remember, he was ashamed of. Uh, he begged me to forgive him. He said he understood and forgive me, forgave me if I if I never wanted Fair to speak to him again. Sauce. I um, he texted me at one point and then and then I didn't respond right away, and yeah. he texted me again that he understood that I had made my decision to move on and good luck and I was better for it and. And then continued to um, contact me. I spoke to him when I was in New York on the phone, and he said that he was um, ha he had a chip, or that he was going to meetings. That he the chip is for the uh, alcoholics anonymous. I think anonymous. at the time anonymous. mentioned a sober uh, a another celebrity that was kind of advising him on sobriety or not advising him but you know encouraging him and he was saying well look you know me and this person we're we're doing we even went to a meeting um, I've got three days sober four days sober and that was the last time the monster will never come back the monster will never come back and because it felt like such a different it felt so much worse than it had ever been before and because I had, you know, went, I went to New York and I was trying to get my strength to leave him. I Four actually days, thought That's that right. Four it days. kind of would be the turning point. It, I thought I had effectively. Objection, Your Honor, non-responsive. Oh, oh, overruled. Oh, Thank you. Go ahead. Please continue. Uh, I thought I. She's getting I thought mad. things would change. Did you? Yep, she's uh, getting mad. Draft any kind of uh, email to Mr. Depp to express your emotions and how you felt about all this. Objection, hearsay. I, I, well, let's go. I'll lay okay. the foundation, Your Honor. Let's go to Defendants Two Thirty Nine. Two Thirty Nine. Okay. Objection here, say, Your Honor. And I would say both present sense impression and definitely state of mind, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. Jesus Christ. So. Oh, she. Oh, my did God. You ultimately. She can't do anything. To Mr. Depp, what you first drafted up in again. the email without saying anything about what's in the email. That calls for hearsay, Your Honor. I'm just asking if she did. No, what she said. Correct. Okay. Overruled. Did, did you communicate to Mr. Deb what you had drafted in the email? And don't you, you don't get to say what you said? Yes. Okay. And what, if any, response did Mr. Deb have to your sending that email to him? He, 
He came to New York uh -huh. to fight for the relationship for me to prove that she's he's so crying. I believe her now. I believe her now. Yep, she's telling the truth, guys. She's crying. Yep. I believed he was embarrassed and sorry. He said he was, and I believed him. Coffee, thanks for five subs. Appreciate it. So I took him back, or I got back with him. On the condition that he would uphold his promise to do the treatment, to do the full detox, clean up, and never go back. How many times have they gone through this? Maybe I think Johnny likes doing drugs and getting drunk. So I'm going to take you I feel now like he up probably does. The June through August 2014 time frame so that, uh, and I think you testified earlier I think we're building a foundation well that on that one Depp brought in Dr. Kipper and his group correct yes okay. he did um, can you please describe for the jury what those next few months were like okay all of a sudden um, this doctor gets brought on that had that we had been talking about. I had heard this name before. Yeah. And all of a sudden, this doctor, Dr. Kipper, who apparently wrote a book on addiction and was this doctor who was going to be the solution, the, the cure, you know. Uh, and he got, he got brought on board. And all of a sudden, the plan was that this team would be involved in Johnny's recovery. Shouldn't he use the so second I felt, camera, felt guys? Serious. I felt like protected you know i had already by, by this point heard a million times it seems like a promise is to get clean and sober it's but them not me like a change and uh, they were going to come to boston and start working with johnny and the plan was to keep johnny on a on the same level of drugs that he was on since he was filming they needed him to finish filming the movie uh so he was going to be maintained with his um, prescri with prescription pills, including the painkillers. And the, the, the plan was he would obviously abstain from alcohol completely and all other drugs like weed and coke. And he, then when he finished filming, the plan was to do Objection, the Objection, Your detox. Honor, hearsay. And lack of foundation. I, I, I don't understand. What the objection? I, I don't think it is. I think she was just explaining the context there. I don't think she was saying. Well, because like somebody the foundation, said. how she knew. It's fine. How, how did you know that? I was involved in the conversations. Okay. Please. With continue. the doctors and with his sister. Objection, Your Honor. That's still hearsay. Okay. All right. I'll okay. sustain the objection. That, that part is. Oh um, my God. So, uh, she can't what even did, talk. What happened next? Jesus as a result of these communications without saying what the communications were. A nurse came to Boston uh, where Johnny was. I just would come for short periods of time uh, in between, I mean, on weekends from filming until I wrapped my movie, which I did, I think in May, if I am not mistaken. And then I went to Boston and I was there and saw um, a nurse was flown out to Boston, Debbie Lloyd, and I believe Kipper came out too, and they put Johnny on a bunch of new medications, which they shared with me, told me about. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. But, uh, but we, we have to be careful about what other people told you. Okay. So oh my God. No, okay. Oh my so God. What happened then? I saw his medications change. Um, I know the amount that Johnny told them he was on was so that they they could maintain him for the filming, meaning not cha make a drastic change in the amount of painkillers he was taking. But he, his behavior, his whole personality changed 
drastically. He would be speaking to me. And at the time I was staying in Boston with him, ha having wrapped my movie, and he would, in mid-sentence, mid mid-word, fall asleep. Uh, it, one time I was sitting across from him, and he would come in and out of uh, sleep, uh, being awake, or yeah. what appeared to be asleep, while talking to me, and he had a cigarette in his hand, and, you know, Johnny constantly smoked. And he just sat the cigarette, you know, as he fell asleep while speaking down on his leg. They're hand rolled cigarettes. They don't stay lit um, very long. Rolls his own cigarettes? But, you know, he, it was Jesus. like that and I didn't understand it. Even though I had experience with drug use um, in my family, I, I hadn't seen anything like this. And it was so dramatic, the change, that I was trying to figure out with the nurses and doctors, what happened, what change, how we could explain the change and what medications were causing it. Yeah. I knew there were new medications involved. So, you know, I was constantly um, worried and in communication. And Johnny's behavior got worse and worse, more uh, of this passing out, nodding off, waking up in the middle of the night, screaming, waking up in the middle of the night, sometimes crying. And the emotions would change from one to the next, like by the by the second. He would, the I remember we were on a long weekend when he was filming in Boston, and we went to this like ho, like a resort retreat hotel, and you know he was just bawling. You know, I it broke my heart. There was just a lot of changes, and I I, I really didn't know. Um, I felt so bad for him, and I, I thought maybe it was just what Kipper had introduced into the regime, the medications. Yeah. But what I found out in, in that time is that he was taking about double the Objection, amount. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Is this no, I your saw, observation? I saw it. Okay, I, overruled. Thank you. Please, please continue. Uh, She's getting pressed. About double the amount that he told them was his normal when he started yeah. the the process with the doctors so after a few you know it's I think months of going what is wrong and you know turning him over when he vomited at night or checking his pulse it, there were all of a sudden I just when I realized the amount was about double he I realized then he had been lying to them and me about the amount so that he could get extra high before he had a detox. But okay. that I can't just one that, last that was, time. It was such an agonizing few that <laughs> weeks, months. It was so agonizing. I don't know how long it lasted, but I was so concerned for this mega high person and he had just been doubling up his meds because he didn't so, uh, Michelle, can you pull up 1092, Defendant's Exhibit 1092? Okay, Ray, let's see it. Did you take this picture of Mr. Depp? Oh, okay. All right, all right. We have a picture. To move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 1092. Right, Here we go. No objection. All right, 1092. All right. So you're gonna all right, we actually have, guys, we have evidence. What's depicted here and why you took this picture? This was during that time okay. when the prescriptions that he was on in the, in, in the doubling up of the opiates got so bad that he, 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 was, he was like this just throughout the day off and on where and is it take Adderall let me see it really animated and ready to go and then it would be this again and it was so erratic and so it changed so quickly and I naively now really did not understand what was going on is a picture of him asleep I deeply cared about this human's well-being right. and it, it was very confusing where's the scary. photo so did there come a time then that Mr. Depp went into detox for Roxycontin? 
Foxy. Stage photo. Program. She probably took a, a picture of him while he was asleep. Yes. Uh, it's like, hey, you're filming, asleep. The plan was to do the detox, and that's what we did. And when was that? Um, that would have been uh, early August of 2014. I believe we left. We were there for, I think, a week to 10 days, 8th through the 18th. Okay. More or less. And we've heard some testimony about this, but can you please describe for the jury what took place during this detox on the Bahama Islands uh, in August 2014? Okay. It was for the first few days, okay, peaceful. I, the, the nurse uh, and then later nurse and doctor were staying on a different part of the island. Um, a few minutes drive b uh, by ATV, like 10, 15 minute, you know, um, by uh, one of those ATV vehicles. But we communicated via walkie talkie and occasionally through text and Okay. Um, it was just, it was okay at first, and then the behavior. Well, Lessa, thanks for 100 it just subs. Really wasn't Thank okay. you so much. Uh, it was Thank you very much. up, down, he'd be mad at me. Um, then he was wanting a hug. Uh, he cried a lot, and then he. Um, what the fuck? You know, wanted to have sex a lot, like, which is just not like Johnny at all. And <laughs> it was just like that. It was just up, down, mood. And it was like I was, it felt like a constant was catering oh to Oh, my God. That whatever he was going through at the time, I was just trying to uh, adapt and kind of roll with it and, and provide support. I was taking his blood pressure. Uh, I was on a schedule and constant communication with the nurses about delivering the meds, giving him his meds at a certain time. Yeah. Uh, I was just trying to take care of him. And... Uh, a few days in, you know, the I guess the, the effects of the detox really started to change, and it went from this like erratic behavior, up and down, up and down, to just really down or mad. He would burst into uh, uh, anger at me, yelling at me. I crossed the table, I walked away from it at the table. I crossed the table in a certain way, and he screamed at me about that and tried to overturn this table. Luckily, it was damn. He's crazy to the, uh, to the deck. But I remember him shaking it and screaming, and at wow. different points he was really calm and sweet and thanking me. And then another, uh, you know, he um, looked like he was balancing out, and we had a, a conversation, and he was saying he wanted to quit, like quit the detox, and he couldn't do it anymore. And I was trying to find the language to... Um, encourage him you know i was trying yeah. to remind him how much he wanted that how much he had told me he wanted that how much he i was reminding him he told me all the time i, I saved his life and he wouldn't be doing this without me and i was telling him these things and i was at one point in our conversations i told him about how objection your honor hearsay uh, please try to continue without what you said please um i said something to him and uh, he got so angry at me, he slapped me across the face. And he did it like, while crying. It was, it was the weirdest thing. He was crying, saying no woman had ever embarrassed him like that. No, no woman had ever made him feel like that. I heard that for the rest of the trip, too, just on repeat. And I felt bad. I feel bad. Still feel bad. But, you know, I didn't want to make him feel embarrassed. That's not what I wanted to do. It just was in over my head. I don't know how to detox someone. What did you know, I, I say? I don't know how to help them see that. And I shouldn't. What did I say? Shouldn't have been there. You know, I don't. <laughs> what, why were you there? Because he asked me to. And I didn't know that that was a phenomenally dumb idea. I don't know why anyone. No, why the doctors and nurses didn't tell me not to? I didn't. I had no idea what that was going to look like or be like, and it was hell. You know, we're on an island. I'm trying to take care of him, and he was hallucinating. And objection, Your Honor, non-responsive. Overruled. Screaming at me care. for things that I said when I didn't say any. I hadn't said anything. I, I would tell him, Johnny. I, objection, I, Your Honor, hearsay. I think in the context, Your Honor, it's not offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted. What's it? 
forth. It, it's just telling the context of. I'll sustain the objection. Thank you. Please continue and just say what he says and what he did and what your observations were. He was um, accusing me of having a man in the house with me. We were in a single, you know, in a cabin. It's basically one room. Yeah. A closet and a bathroom. I mean, there's nowhere to hide, really. I mean, there's a closet and a bathroom. And he, at one point, told me that I was hiding somebody in the house. Another point, he was communicating with someone not in the room. It, it, it would yell at me and then yell at someone else. It wasn't there. And I tried to ask for what I should do. I didn't know what to do. It was terrifying and strange. The whole week was... So after you left Bahamas and finished with the detox there, where did you go from there? Tyson, thanks for 1,500 bits. Thank you, man. We, meaning okay. Debbie Lloyd. Uh, Come on. Kip, uh, Dr. Kipper and I and Johnny, we flew back to L.A. Oh, my and God. The, the, he was going back and forth between saying he wasn't going to continue to. He was committed. It was back and forth. Everything was up, down, erratic, like ch changing every second. And we got to LA and uh, Debbie and Kipper communicated with me. I won't say what they said, but I, I decided it would be probably in everyone's best interest if I went away to a hotel. Okay. Um, Johnny uh, put me up in this room in this hotel while he finished the process of detox okay. in LA. <laughs> okay. And I had my friends. No out, objection to that. Um, with my girlfriends there to support me as per usual. So let's, Michelle, can you pull up 272, please? And after you both returned to LA, did Mr. Depp communicate with you? Is there evidence? Let's see the evidence. By text while you were apart. Where's the evidence? In the detox. Uh, yes, he did. Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission of 272. Do Any objection? Susan? Yes, Your Honor, to the first message. Excuse me, I mean, Your Honor, to the second. You mean the response? Right. I. Okay. Uh, and it's just present sense of uh, impression. But let's get the evidence. Not, Come on, let's see it. So I'm ready. It. Can we redact that second message? Okay, here we go. Is she urgent to bullshit? Is that what she's <laughs> No. If she was, she'd be dead by now. All right, Your Honor, I... All right, any objection to 72 redacting? No, thank you, Your Honor. All right. Okay, here we go. Evidence. Actual evidence. Let's see it. And Amber, I'm going to show you now what is Defendant's Exhibit 272, and this is on August 20, 2014. It's okay. a text message from Mr. Depp to you. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Okay. And just so that we can highlight here. He's calling you. He says, just to let you know that I'm fine, my angel. I miss you, of course, but this was the right thing to do to speed up the process. I love you more than life. Yours, Steve. Do you see that? Who's Steve? You, so what, if any, expressions was Mr. Depp giving you at this point that he was angry with you ever uh, yeah. having to what? participate with the detox or to be on the island or anything along that line. Objection form. Steve content. Jobs? Wait, him I'll, too? I'll allow it, but just... Jesus! But trying to keep the record clear. 272 is... That was his nickname? Evidence oh, without that okay. Redaction, so there wasn't any objection, so I, I would wish... If I could have both sides to keep track of their evidence, it's not my job to keep, keep yeah. this. Thank you, Your Honor. I... And I just got a note to that effect, so... Uh, okay, so 272 is an evidence without... You can clear the redaction and, and publish mm -hmm. it. it. It's really the party's responsibility to take care of the record, not mine. My, my apologies <laughs> on that one, Your Honor. Getting chastised right. in court. 
Uh oh. All right, and I overruled the objection, so she can answer the question. Thank you. Your Honor. All right, here we go. I'm sorry. Can you remind me what the question? Was? <laughs> yes, that, that's fair. That's fair. I said, what, if anything, did Mr. Depp say about that you were torturing him on the island and he didn't want you there? Dude. Very confusing for me to hear that. Um, because. Wow. Even though he was. This guy is an asshole. At various moments when you would have these. Oh, my God. Episodes. Um, Put him in jail immediately. I did nothing but. Steve was a nickname that, that she had for Johnny. Um, That's I, my understanding. Not a nurse. I this guy is an abuser. I can him. tell. And he thanked me. He thanked my mom. He thanked my dad. This is disgusting. And told me, of course, I saved his life. Involving the family, too? Uh, that he wouldn't be able to make this change without me. Wow. And that this process was horrible and hard on him and us and me. But that he was so thankful that I was there for him. Tor, thanks for five subs. That's terrible. Okay, we can take this down now. Oh Stop my thinking. God. And, um, I'm gonna take you up to September, October of 2014. Yeah. Uh, do you remember filming Magic Mike 2 in that time frame? Yes, I do. Uh, Magic Mike 2? And what if any connections the did hell you is that? have with Mr. Depp in that time frame? Well, I bargained with him uh, about me doing the role. Such a fucking snake? Yeah, would, I know. Um, he would call the actors. It was a mostly male cast. But I bargained watch with him. Yeah, she on her hearsay. I'm going to make sure this is, uh, it, it, it's not on me. Um, don't say what you said, just say what he said, okay? Mm -hmm. Are they mentioning the echo at all? Because the um, audio is different. Whatever, it doesn't he matter. He reluctantly okay, here we go. agreed to me working on this movie or taking a job. He was filming a different movie in London at the time. I, I yeah. wasn't going to play a sexualized character. I wore no makeup or minimal makeup in the movie. No sexy clothing. No kissing scenes. No sex scenes. So I went and did mm -hmm. that film in October of 2014 in Georgia while he uh, finished his movie in London. And then at some point he came out uh, to pick me up yeah. in Georgia and was there for my last like day or two of filming. I wonder if she'd I'm be pissed if she knew uh, Johnny Depp was just you to drawing pictures to, the whole time. Michelle, can you bring up 310, please? Defendants 310. Yeah, he's just drawing this. this. They get the shading in on this, you know, it's whatever, right? Did you have communications with Mr. Depp about auditioning for another role in this time frame? Objection, Your Honor. I'm going to object to the exhibit. It's hearsay. Ooh. I'm not sure who's in the... Ooh, we going to get it or not? It Are we going to get it or not? Or so, uh, but the green is Mr. Depp. And uh, yeah, the, the one I'm most focused on is on the second Why? page. You're on or the top. Warcraft Three Royale. Yeah. Page. Yes. Keep pulling video. Thanks for five subs. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, all right. So just that text. It's making a list of everything he's uh, going to do with the fifty million dollars he's about to win. Ruling, yeah. Yes. Uh, any objection to that text? No. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Get that redacted. That's smart. And while that's being redacted, Amber, let me ask you, what, if any, uh, 
anything was Mr. Depp saying to you in this time frame? We're talking in November 2014. Too. Thank you. About you not working anymore or not taking on any more work or auditioning. Objection, Your Honor. Compound. They're all the same leading. subset. Overruled. I'll allow it. Thank you. Johnny was angry with me uh, for working. I had finished my job and I needed to eventually find another job, meaning a movie, to work on. And he was Little furious sir. at Thanks me for, for Thank you. he found um, um, He's catching Pokemon. Call them sides. They're just pieces of an audition pages. And he found something that had been sent to me to consider auditioning for. And he blew up at me for, um, yeah, I think he's, what he said to me is that I didn't tell him, uh, that I didn't ask him. Uh, and that because he didn't know about that audition that I hadn't done yet, yeah that i had been hiding it and okay was furious at me i um ended up not doing that audition i believe well there was a, a few one or two in that time that i did put my uh, i did audition for it and one or two that i didn't i'm gonna ask you now to take a look at what is Defendant's Exhibit 310. Uh, do you recognize this? Okay. Email? All right. We have evidence. Um, Great. Yeah. That's what I'm waiting for. Let's get the fucking yes. evidence in here. Text. Yeah, going All right. To here we go. It, it, it's, in, it's in evidence. 310. Oh, okay. It's evidence with redactions. So pl 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 please tell the jury uh, about this text and the context. Yeah. This was um, Johnny's response uh, to me. Apologizing. Is this for him saying I love you having, again? Uh, an audition. This monster will never say like if he says I love you, you one more time. This right, is just now, so incriminating. I'm going to stay in this November is of 2014. It's awful. Um, it's a monster. Did there come a time that Mr. Depp told you that he understood that you were not going to accept any more jobs, that you were going to stop working? Well, Johnny said this to me in. He tried to do a world a in favor. An argument in 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 a, a fit of rage is the best way I can describe it. Good try, and man. And kind of alluded to, to me having agreed to not work anymore, which you, if you don't know me, is um, is, is preposterous. Uh, there's no way I would agree to that. Uh, although I did make concessions and gave up a lot of Objection, these fights. Objection, hearsay. That, that wasn't overruled. Thank you. Please continue. Um, so he reached out to other people and to, to me to that effect. Uh, furious at me for uh, taking meetings. There was one in particular I, I, I wanted a, one meeting I wanted to take because it was a project in development with a sci-fi writer. And I remember I wanted to take that. It, it, the, these things were just, con I, they were just constant and constant fights. But in between them, when things were good between Johnny and I, he would be, you know, he would word it to me like, I'm trying to look out for you. You know, yeah. you say that you don't want to be objectified. You're doing it to yourself, you know, you, but at first it was because I dressed a certain way or had sex scenes and then it just got more narrow and more narrow and more narrow what I could do without taking, without being the blame for why the industry, Hollywood, the entertainment industry was putting me in a box and objectifying me. So it became my fault. I mean, I believed it. You know, I, I, I believed it. I adopted well, a lot of these changes. Whose fault else would it be? Myself, not because Johnny, you know, said you have to do it this way, but because of all the other things that he said and did, I, I eventually- Yeah, wasn't she in Magic Mike too? Wasn't it a stripper making movie? Making decisions about my own career, about how I dressed, 
about how I wore my hair, how I presented, where my eyes were cast when I walked into a room. And I believe those were my own decisions. Uh huh. Deborah, did there come a time in, in November of 2014 that you engaged in some couples counseling with Dr. Cowan and you and Mr. Oh, Depp? is this where he'd leave to smoke weed? We attempted to. I oh, here we go. had stopped seeing my therapist attempted at to. the. Um, in 2014, uh, I couldn't sustain seeing her and be in the relationship with Johnny, and I chose Johnny. Yeah. Um, eventually, Dr. Kipper introduced me to his close friend, Dr. Cowan. And I met with Dr. Cowan and agreed to let them share communication about my care, my treatment, both what I said to Cowan and what I said to, to Dr. Kipper, who okay. would become my physician as well. Uh, he okay. also put a nurse on me that would be my travel companion. And that travel companion would keep tabs on me and report to Dr. Kipper, who reported everything to Johnny. Objection hearsay. Calls for speculation. Oh. Sustain the objection. Okay. Oh. Okay. So tell us about the couple's therapy in November 2014. So Dr. Cowan, this man who is friends with Kipper, is treating me, um, agreed to see Johnny and I together. Yeah. And uh, I don't know how many minutes of that went on before Johnny uh, stormed out, um, knocked something off the table on his way out, and rolled a joint in the bathroom before storming out of the office, slamming the door. Did you do that? No. But right. it's about the joint, so though. So I'm going to take you up to December of 2014, and specifically December 17, 2014. <laughs> um, and I'm going to ask you to take a... Do you, what, if anything, do you recall of an incident with Mr. Depp relating to Clive Barker? Barker. Oh, my God. He was the sci-fi writer that I liked. Well, fantasy sci-fi writer. Um, okay. I really, I kind of had a dream project uh, based on a book that I, I loved of this author. Okay. And he's just a weirdo genius, genius artist, writer. And okay. I had a meeting with him um, through another director about a piece of property he wanted to make into a, a, a movie. And... Um, I just remember uh, we were, I believe we were at the ECB. Um, it was in December of 2014. Yeah. When um, Johnny found out that I had this meeting scheduled and um, was furious at me, um, accused me of having this plan to sleep with this. He was mad that I was taking the meeting at this man's house, but the man was was very ill, like terminally ill, and uh, not able to leave his his bed or his home. He was under home care and okay, uh, very ill. And the person who was introducing us explained to me how we had to meet, and I did, and that was a big problem for Johnny. It, at first, it was. Um, that he was concerned about my safety, and I thought that was sweet. And you know, there there is something yeah. that's that I thought was sweet and romantic about that. But um, is the guy still alive? With the drinking, it just he he. It was not very long before I was being accused of full on having this other plan to sleep with the writer in order to get this part that I was already being, you know, basically offered to develop. And it was just this, you know, he switched from me having, he was accusing me of having this ulterior motive with this director, the director having it with me, then with this writer. And, um, and the, the, the important thing that I can try to get across in this moment is that nothing I said no amount of explaining, apologizing, accepting, not accepting, uh, agreeing to not go. Nothing worked. Nothing changed. 
how mad he was at me and constantly telling me I had done something wrong to deserve what was happening. Until, of course, he takes it too far. Oh, here we go. Hits me too hard, breaks too many things in the house, and then leaves. Jesus. Which was the pattern. And he would leave and not have to deal with the cleanup. He never had to oh deal with the cleanup. He never had to deal with the destruction or see me with a house that he had destroyed. He never wow. had to deal with my face the next day. He was just, he would just go. I called it splitting. You just split. And eventually I get an apology of some kind, or I would get an offer to have him come over. He would offer to come over and talk or give me my peace or give me my goodbye. And in many ways, I found myself accepting that knowing it was kind of false pretense because I okay. too wanted to resolve it. I didn't want him to think I was sleeping with this sci-fi writer. I didn't want him to think that I was this slut. He, he, he said I was all the time. I mean, part of me really wanted to believe that he didn't mean those things. And I wanted to get to that part of him that would tell me he didn't mean what he said and that he was acting this way because he was messed up, you know? Yeah. And the cycle would repeat, I suppose. Was there any physical violence on or around December 17, 2014? I, um, yes, is the answer to your question. I just don't, I don't really remember. Where's the evidence? Like, again. What happened in that fight? But what the uh, fuck? I remember more afterwards. I remember. Yeah, this is all before they get married, by the way. I remember him telling me he took it too far. I remember him saying he'd never do it again. And I remember wanting to get to so Christmas. So many times no evidence. No. Yeah, there's nothing. Christmases are hard probably for everyone. And I remember it was close enough to Christmas that I was tired. And I wanted to be in a forgiving, not forgiving. I wanted to be in a kind, gentle, peaceful state for yeah. Christmas. I didn't want to go through a breakup at this time. I didn't want to. Makes sense. You know, I, that's what I remember at that time. Let's bring up Defendant's Exhibit 321. Oh, here we go. And this is on she remember stuff, she ever, Except what he did to her? Yeah, I know. Is this a text message exchange between you and Mr. Depp? Okay, here we go. This better yes, not be him is. telling you yeah, I love like you again. The admission of Defendant's 321. Uh-oh. Any objection? We can't have that. Sorry. Uh-oh. Just a quick minute. <laughs> so let's see it. Your yep, Honor, let's no see it. I'm ready. 321 in evidence. You can publish it, please. Let's go. Come on. Uh, Amber, I'm just going to uh, turn your attention to this. This is an email exchange between you and Mr. Depp. Okay, here we go. He says... I am truly sorry to have upset you to the degree that I have. I couldn't be more sorry for yet again ruining your day. I do, of course, take your generosity, your selflessness, your affection, and your sweet doting deeply into my heart, and I think that I've been reciprocal. Agony is never the answer to any equation or occasion, nor is rage. What's the please know that my apologies. See how she said that and paused and as stupid as it sounds. I hope your meeting with Clive Barker is excellent. You see that? Yes. Okay. And then you respond. Thank you for your words. What and is this trial? Betty Sue's that's his mother. Yes. And I then had a, um, uh, a, um, a glass of wine with, uh, my former agent, Megan, okay. that, um, that afterwards, uh, uh, um, what, uh, Th she, what is this evidence for? Um, objection hearsay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. All right. And we can take that down. Let's bring up 325. Oh my God. Like, what is this? Please? There's like nothing even bad at all. Who's Steve? It's what she calls Johnny. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. It's it, it's something, you know? This is crazy. And this is an email exchange the following day, 12-18-2014. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, Your Honor, I'd move the admission of defendants 325. It's already in. Oh, it's already in, Your Honor. My apologies. We'll get that figured out at lunch. Okay. It's already in. So. It's been in evidence. Does anybody over there have the list of evidence that's already in evidence? Yes. Okay, we're making sure. It's a red, it's redaction. Ours indicates it is. It's in. It, it, it's in evidence. Without redactions, Your Honor? It is. It was redacted. I don't know what well, it was redacted to. The redactions don't. Yeah. Is that that's how it is in evidence, Mr. Murphy? Right, we can check. We'll Let, check let's copy. see it. Thank you. Oh my God, she's tilting. Yeah. It's fine, Your Honor. We've confirmed. Yes. Okay. You. Okay. Let's right. let's see the other evidence. Thank you. We have to have some evidence of him implying that he was violent towards her, right, or something. All these text messages. Everything. There's got to be something, guys. There yeah. must be. See it on your screen? Oh, here we go. All right, we'll take care of that during the break. If you could just share it there. Oh, get it? Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. okay, thank you. So this is from Mr. Depp, right? says, it's a way I've let it go too far, went too far. Do you see that? Yes, I do. I always regret it when I jump or worse when you jump. I don't want to be conditioned to continue that behavior. Therefore, I'll put in heavy work with shrink. What is your understanding of what he's referring to with shrink? Um, psychologist. Objection calls for speculation. D did you have an understanding of what he meant? Yes, I knew exactly what he meant. And what did he mean? Shrink is shrink. Oh, what he did, just spelled it wrong. Shrink? He, Johnny called um, shrinks, meaning a psychologist, therapist, um, shrink. Okay. okay. I'm sorry for being less for Shrek. your disappointment in me. For my behavior, I'm a fucking savage. Damn. Yes. All right. Yes. Gonna lose that. Gonna lose that. The devil is all around, right? Now, you respond to this. And, of course, before you go there and he says, I am well aware I should have been bigger at the moment and that it will never again manifest in negative experiences. It can be done. What a killer concept to visualize. He implied, well, wait, she didn't, that? it's yes, heinously respond, insults. I, I miss you already, correct? There was never a, and there was never an implication of, in, consistent with, she the skipped the part where he was talking about, it, it, they oh, were talking. The language. It was what they said to each other. Um, he used and he also after, skipped the part where, where he said we. Particularly violent. Bro, it's, episodes, it's right there. Was savage. Oh, my God. Monster. Devil. And so oh, my. He ended up both calling oh his God. other side. The side wow. of Johnny that would do. This is so weak. This is, oh, my God. Unbelievably horrible things. Yeah. It was very different from the other Johnny. That was, in my opinion, exact opposite. She's like speed running the evidence, yeah. And this is typical of the apologies that I would get um, when he took it too far uh, physically. Mm -hmm. I was encouraged because I thought it meant he understood that he could really hurt me. Sometimes I didn't think he understood how much he could hurt me physically, I mean. Uh, so <sighs> after this, I... I <laughs> He, he said, he said it was like slinging insults. I, uh, I had physically, a, a visible bruise. I, where? I don't remember where, but I remember what other people, well, I can't say that what they said. So anyway, um, and I, you know, in these fights, I, I tried to stand up for myself by December, 2014. I was pushing back. I'd push him off of me. I tried to hit his hands away. Oh my God. I tried to always get back up. Where is it? Sometimes, not sometimes. You don't even remember where it was? Made it worse. I always seemed to provoke him. Um, but I tried. Oh my God. Worse, I, you know, I would, 
yell at him, I'd scream at him. Oh my fucking I'd call god. Ugly names. So ashamed of the names we'd call each other. It was awful. It was awful. We both. Yeah. Got into that pattern. It was so. You know, I felt so angry that this was happening to me, and it felt it just felt so unfair. You know, it felt like nothing I could do. It felt like nothing I could oh, do would man. change the sobriety patterns. It felt like nothing I could do would stand up for him, and nothing and I did made him stop hitting me. Nothing. So, you know, I tried for over a year, maybe maybe two. Of just not responding physically, not responding verbally, just staring at him. I tried to freeze. I tried to go to a different place. I just, I would try then lashing out verbally. I would try to threaten that if he hit me again, that I would call the police. You know, the police were called several times, but uh, we heard about I tried that. to do everything I yeah. to leave him. You know, yeah, we heard about tried that. Tried to leave him. The police were called by who? And I think by this point in our relationship, um, we're both saying awful things to each other, screaming at each other, and unfortunately, um, when Johnny would start hitting me, he just went. I also describe it. Yeah, this might be a good okay. Let's get the lunch break. All right. We'll go, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and take our lunch break at this time oh until my two o'clock. Please do not discuss the case or do any outside research. Okay. Thank you. Oh my God, I, I just, it's just like, look, get lunch break. Yeah, exactly. Oh, let's stop on this. Look at the instant mood change. Well, I, I don't think that's really as big of a deal. End it with an emotional part for the jury. Yep. Yep. Very emotional part for the jury. How cute that is. Wow. Uh, I thought she was an actor. Yeah. Well, you can see that. And so, okay, just don't discuss your testimony with anybody this time, okay? All right, thank you. So, two o'clock. All right, thank you. Oh my God, man! It's just like I I can't believe it, man. I just I I can't fucking believe it. Sham was sorry. Well, the thing is, like, we have all of these text messages, and like none of it is. None of it is incriminating for, for, for Johnny. Like, none of it. Like, not a single one. Not a single thing that he said. Nothing at all. That's what's so crazy to me about this. Is, like, every single thing. It's like, don't you see? Like, don't you have any, like, this is just such horse shit. 